guys, it's Savannah here, back again with another deck review. This deck right here is the Bucks playing cards, so let's get right on into the review. Many of you guys may not exactly know what these playing cards are, but I'm going to give you kind of a little overview of the deck. This deck was made by a tobacco company, uh, Philip Morris, or um, now is known as the Altria Group. Their brands of cigarettes include Marlboro, Virginia Slims, Bucks, Basics, Dave's, all kinds of different brands. Um, so the people who produced this deck was a tobacco group, and the box was a type of cigarettes. So if we take a look at the box, it's all red, pretty simple. It says Bucks at the top, and it kind of has some metallic gold around the sides. It has a depiction of a nice little buck or a male deer on the front, um, kind of with some mountains and some wood background behind him. The other side you get the same exact thing and this is what the actual back design looks like on the cards. On this side it says Bucks playing cards with some of that gold adornment around the sides and on the other side it says the exact same thing. On the bottom it has a copyright for Philip Morris Incorporated in 1990. On the top it says nothing. So this is what the back design looks on inside of the cards right here. It's just a full red background with the same bucks and the deer on top with the gold around the sides. I like that it kind of has borders but it's all red. I think that's kind of cool. But it's a one-way back design. The deck is pretty simple though. It comes with four jokers and they all look the same. It says joker joker and it has a deer head or a buck in the middle and then it says bucks and they're all exactly the same and the deck comes with four of them. This deck is just a simple and plain deck made to advertise a type of cigarettes and probably was given out as some type of promotion for the cigarettes. And then you can tell that the spade is just kind of a standard spade. There's really nothing special to it. So if we take a look through the cards, you'll notice that everything is standard. The court cards are completely standard and so are all the symbols on the cards as we take a look through the deck right here. Just to give you guys a little overview of what the entire deck looks like. You guys can tell this is an older deck by how thick the deck actually is. The stock is pretty thin on these cards and when you put all the cards together you can tell that this is an older deck because of how thick the width of the deck with all the cards together is. So as time has gone on and stocks and finishes have gotten better, I'm not giving this deck a rating but I just kind of wanted to show you guys this cool deck because it's one of the older decks I have in my collection. I don't really mess around with this deck so much because I kind of want to preserve um, how it is because it's an older deck. Um, they don't really handle too great. I mean, for how old they are, they handle all right. It's just not a deck made to be handled and it doesn't have the quality stocks and finishes that we have today that make cards glide like air. So thank you guys so much for watching my Bucks deck review. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like right down there and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about this deck right here. If you like this video again, it definitely does not hurt to subscribe to, and get connected with me with all my links down below. My Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff is definitely ready for you guys to check out. Again, thank you guys so much and please stay tuned for my next deck review, unboxing, or other video coming your way real soon.